All right, so in lesson nine, we're talking about suspended chords or sus chords. So I just wanna start this off and play something real quick for you so you can hear how a sus chord can make your playing sound just a little bit better. So I'll go something like this. you get that feeling that you almost just want to resolve it back to that major C chord. And so that's the idea of a sus chord is it adds tension to your playing where um, it, it doesn't quite sound right and almost makes you want to resolve it back to the chord that you were playing. Um, so that's the idea of a sus chord is it, adds, it, it just adds tension. So the two main sus chords that we're gonna be going over today is a sus two and a sus four. And if you think about it using the number system, it's very simple. So all you're doing, if you, if you take a C chord, you use the number system, one, two, three, four, five, the major chord is one, three, five. And so a suspended chord or sus chord, all you're doing is you're replacing your three with either a two or a four, depending on if you're playing a sus two or a sus four. And that's all it is, you're replacing the three with a two or a four. And it works in every other key too. So if you wanna do in the key of A, you take your A, one, two, three, four, five. So your A chord is one, three, five. If you wanna do an A sus two, you'd be one, two, five. Or if you wanna do an A sus four, one, four, five. So there's two ways to do it. Sometimes they write it out A and then you know S, U, S, two. Or to save space, especially at chord charts, sometimes it'll just say A2. And so either way, it both works. And so sus chords also work with inversions as well. So this is, uh, it gets a little bit tricky, um, but it's important to know. So if you play a C root chord, here's your C2, here's your C4, and then your C major. Let's take, take it up one inversion. And remember, inversions, you take your one and you slide it up an octave to your first inversion. Now, if you wanna play a C2, you're there, a C4 is here, and then back to your first inversion. If you wanna play your second inversion, take your three, bring it up an octave, and so now you're in your C second inversion, and if you wanna play your C sus two, or C2, and then your C4, and then back to your C. And so the other thing that's a little bit tough about chord charts is especially with inversions, is it, it's not gonna tell you which inversion to play, whether it's here, 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 or here. Um, and so you just kind of have to run through and practice and figure out which inversions sound good, and especially with the sus chords, which sus chords sound good in which inversion. So that's when your playing will get a little bit tougher, and it takes more time to just kind of mess around with it and just see which one you think sounds better. So what I wanna do is I wanna take all 12 keys and then play the inversions um, and it include the sus2 and the sus4. So it goes like this. So start in the key of A. So here's your A, here's A2, and then A4, back to your A. And then we'll jump up to the first inversion. So A2, A, A4, A. And let's jump to the second inversion. A2, A, A4, A. And let's go to B flat. So here's your B flat, B flat2, B flat4, B flat. First inversion, B flat, B flat two, B flat, B flat four, B flat. And then second inversion, B flat, B flat two, B flat, B flat four, B flat. And so let's just keep walking, walking our way up. So here's B, B two, B four. Here's your first inversion, B two, B four, back to B. Second inversion, here's your B, B2, B, B4, B. Take it to C, C2, C4, C. First inversion, here's your C2, C4, back to C, and your second inversion. C2, C4, back to C. And D flat, D flat two, D flat four, back to D flat. Here's your first inversion. D flat two, D flat four, back to D flat, and then your second inversion. D flat two, D flat four, back to D flat. And then we'll go to D, D, D two, D four, D. First inversion, D two, D four, 
back to D. Second inversion, D2, D4, back to D. And then let's go to E flat, E flat 2, E flat 4, E flat. First inversion, E flat 2, E flat 4, E flat. Second inversion, E flat 2, E flat 4, E flat. And then E, E2, E4, back to E. First inversion, E, E2, E4, E. Second inversion, E, E2, E4, E. And then F, F2, F4, F. First inversion, F, F2, F4, F. Second inversion, F, F2, F4, F. And then G flat, G flat 2, G flat 4, G flat. First inversion, G flat, G flat 2, G flat 4, G flat. And second inversion, G flat, G flat 2, G flat 4, G flat. And then G, G2, G4, G. First inversion, G, G2, G4, G. Second inversion, G, G2, G4, back to G. And then the last one is A flat, A flat 2, A flat 4, A flat. First inversion, A flat, A flat 2, A flat 4, A flat. Second inversion, A flat 2, A flat 4, A flat. So that's your sus2 and your sus4 in all 12 keys using your root chord, your first inversion, and your second inversion. So that's a really good practice to go through. Um, you know, each key, each inversion, practice your sus chords because a lot of times the melody line will stay around that three and the four and the two. And so if you can position your hands in whatever inversion would match that, and then you can kind of follow along with the melody sometimes or even a harmony sometimes and kind of play with it, it's really going to add um, kind of the next level to your playing. And so what I want to do is the last four songs that we've been going over is I want to add some sus chords to these, not all of them, but just pick out one or two um, sus chords that we can add to these songs to make them sound a little bit better. All right, so 10,000 Reasons, we did that one in the key of D, and remember that one has four chords. So it's D, A, B minor, and G. So for the numbers, it was one, five, six minor, and four. So let's figure out how we can add some sus chords to these to make it sound a little bit better. So let's keep our one in the root position. That's our D chord. And then for our four chord, which is G, let's do that in the second position, or the second inversion, and let's do a sus two. So here's a, a G sus two. And then for our A, let's do that in the first inversion, and let's do a sus four. So again, so you say A, first inversion, and then here's your sus four. So G sus two, let's just call it G two. G two, A four, D, and then a B minor. We'll just play a B minor the way it is. So we're gonna add a sus chord to our G and our A. G two, A four, D. So let's go through the song and let's just see how it the, it changes just a little bit. So let's see here. Bless the Lord, O oh my soul. Oh, worship you. 
yo o resolve it lean name so you can see how you can add the sus chords and you can also resolve it back to the major chord to give it just a little bit more um more of a cool feeling to it so the next song we'll do is cornerstone so that's in the key of g and again there's four chords it's g c d and e minor so let's keep those inversions similar to 10,000 reasons so our our one chord will be a g we'll keep that in the root position our, our five chord, our D, we'll do a sus4. So we'll do that in the first inversion, and we'll hit the sus4 here. So here's your one, here's your five. Our C chord, we'll do a C2. So here's a C, your first inversion, your second version, and you'll play the two. And then our E minor, we'll keep that uh, in the first inversion, and we won't add a sus chord to that. So here's a G. Your C2, your D4, and then your E minor. And so if we play that song, it goes like this. My hope is built on nothing less than Jesus' blood and righteousness. You can resolve it right there. I dare not trust in the sweetest frame. Resolve it in Jesus' name, Christ alone, cornerstone, weak made strong in the safe, your love through the storm. He is Lord. Resolve it, Lord. Of this for and then resolve it all right so Waymaker, that one's in the key of b remember there's four chords to it so it's b e f sharp and g sharp minor so let's keep our b in the root position our e chord we'll do that in the second inversion we'll add a sus2 to it so again you have your d in your root or your e in your root first inversion second inversion we'll add the sus2 so that's an e2 and then our F sharp, let's do that in the first inversion and we'll add a sus4. And then our six minor, or A flat minor, we'll just keep that um, without any sus chords. So it's your B, E sus4, or E4, F sharp two, and then your uh, A flat minor. So it goes like this. You are here. worship you. You are here, working in this place. I worship you. I worship you. You are way maker, miracle worker, promise keeper, light in the darkness. My God, that is who you you are way maker, miracle worker, promise keeper, light in the darkness. My God, that is who you are. And then the last song we're going to do is Mighty to Save. And again, that one's in the key of E. So it's E, B, C sharp minor, and A. And so for this one, I only want to add a sus4 to our B chord. Now, one thing you can do when you're playing a sus chord, which I didn't mention this earlier, um, there are some times where if you want to, you can keep that third note in there. So if you want to do a, like a C sus2, you have he, your C chord. And if you want to do the sus2, you can leave out that three or you can include the three with the two. So then it's one, two, three, five. Same thing with a sus4, you can do one, three, four, five. So that's just an option if you want to. Um, sometimes it makes it sound a little bit fuller. So you can go back and forth, leave the three out or add it back in if you want to and just see which one sounds better. So in this case, when I play my B, I'm gonna play it in the second inversion and I'm gonna keep the three and I'll play the four with it. 
So you can hear how that sounds. And so it goes like this. Everyone needs compassion, a love that's never failing. Let mercy fall on me. So that's where I'm playing the three and the four together. Everyone needs forgiveness, the kindness of a savior, the hope of nations. And I'll use a different inversion for this B, and I'll use the sus4. So if you want to build a song, you can use inversions to build it, just like we did here. So. Go to a different inversion on the B and add that sus4. Or even you can use this inversion on the A. And then back to your chorus. Savior, he can move the mountains. My God is mighty to save. He is mighty to save. So there I did just the four and then back to the three. Forever offer of salvation. He rose and conquered the grave. Jesus conquered the grave. And then you end it. So you can see how using sus chords, um, you know, sometimes you can include three, sometimes you don't have to. You can use your four, your two, and just use a combination of all those techniques, um, including the inversions. And you can add um, there's a really good, good sounding um, chord progression together to make your song sound better, as opposed to just doing, you know, your root chords. Um, adding the inversions, adding the sus chords just really lifts that song to a, to a whole new level. So, hope that helps you. Um, I will see you in the next lesson where we talk about something amazing.